Ooh, that's blown out. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little inside look to my life because you're always asking, oh, you haven't uploaded in so long. Where are the videos? What's going on? This is my life. This is my life in a nutshell, okay? <sighs> Every project we do around here that should be simple turns into three or four other steps that, and it just doesn't work. So let me show you, this is my day today. Toilet seat, right? Really simple project that we would replace. We've needed to do it for a while. And it finally got to the point that this one broke, broke. So we're like, okay, buy the toilet seat. Well, then the toilet seat sat leaning against the wall for like at least four days before we finally said, okay, we actually need to put it on. I promise that's not pee in there. It's just like a weird color. Anyway, for any of you who've done toilet seats, normally the screw goes through the bottom and pops out down here. And there's just a little plastic nut that you put on, right? Every toilet I've ever changed. So take the screws out of here. One comes out really easy. The other one does not. I have to like really get in it, which is this one. It was like super corroded or whatnot. And apparently the way this toilet is set up is there are metal inserts that go down in here like this one. And it completely disintegrated and then fell down into the thing. And now that area in there is completely encased. There's no access to it whatsoever as the baby tries to crawl in the toilet. Anyway, this is the first time this has ever happened, so I'm gonna go to Home Depot and get the little insert. So I go to Home Depot. They have no idea what I'm talking about. They've never heard of this. They've never seen a toilet like that. So I'm like, okay, that's a little weird. So I call Ace Hardware, because they have some more, I don't know, specialty type stuff. Same thing, the guy's like, no, I've never heard of that. He's like, don't the screws just go down through the bottom? And I'm like, no, trust me, I've changed enough toilet seats. Like I know how it's supposed to be, this one, is not like that. He basically says two things. One, either it's a really old toilet or it's a really high-end toilet. And it's a Kohler, it's a Kohler toilet. I mean, there's, it's not like it's some weird thing. He goes, go to their website. And if they have it on there, you know, then you know you can do it, whatever. So Alicia just gets on Kohler's website. We find this toilet. Now, mind you, this toilet was installed in this home when I bought it, right? It is $760. It's some crazy high-end toilet, single seamless thing. Like it doesn't have the tank that comes off or anything like that. So now I'm stuck with the nonsense that if I can't get this sleeve, this toilet's junk. This is why I don't get anything done. This is why I don't get any videos done because everything that I do, I swear on everything that's holy, turns into a project like this. A, a, a 10 year old should be able to do this in about 10 minutes. <sighs> no, it just, no. If it, if it involves me or working on things or our life around here, this is how our projects go. This is why I can never get anything done. That's just a little like public service announcement for you guys. All right, so for toilet update 2020, it's fixed. It only took a couple weeks, but Yay! We have a nice sturdy lid again. And it's soft close. So yeah, the deal with that turned out to be we got the part on Amazon. It's a kid in the background. So yeah, we were able to get the part on Amazon. It was like eight bucks, I think. It was a replacement washer thing that drops in there and with threads and then when you screw it in it like expands on the bottom and holds it in so that's done it only took like i think a week to get the part but whatever that's another thing that took me a week to do that shouldn't have taken me a week to do so what else we got going on around here obviously right now we're in quarantine mode we got little babies hi all right we've got baby toys that I just set up. We've got Alicia on the sewing machine, making masks for medical personnel. She's part of a Facebook group that's doing it. They've made a, a whole bunch of stuff and uh, it's going really, really good. So actually I think she's getting ready to make some for us like at the department. Uh, we got Cookie chilling on the swing. We got Sam. Sam here, if you can see, doesn't have any little feathers on his bottom. We rescued him recently, which Alicia, and I'll link it below, uh, started a YouTube channel and she's kind of covering more of the pets and some of the family stuff and things like that. So she's done a lot with the birds and we have videos about that. So here's the other thing I'm gonna show you that has been taking up a lot of my time, excuse the echo, but this is the new studio, which is going to help me tremendously 
be able to film videos and record and things like that because it soundproofed everything, which I'm gonna have actually been filming a lot of this process, so I have a whole another video I'll do showing uh, how I did it. But the real quick version is all of this was torn down to the studs. Everything was insulated. Then I did half inch plywood. Then I did the drywall on top of that. So you've got two layers plus insulation, all the walls, the, the roof going up to, cause Emma's bedroom is above this. And the idea, obviously I'm gonna have sound tiles and things like that so it doesn't echo, but I'll be able to be in here and yell and scream and be silly and do whatever I want. And it's not gonna wake anybody else up. And we're also not gonna have screaming babies and birds and all the other stuff in the background like you just heard me walking in here. So that's kind of some of the stuff that I've been up to. The worst part, the finish work of all, all the spackling and sanding it and then another coat and smoothing everything out. So, but it should look really, really cool when it is is done guys that's it i don't have a whole lot for you i'm sorry i i uh i have a ton of ideas like normal but it's just getting them to fruition because every two seconds chasing this little monster around and they're screaming and there's birds squawking right yeah exactly so guys i hope you're doing well i hope you're staying safe i hope you're staying inside i know it sucks it sucks so bad i'm very fortunate in a sense that I get to go to work, so I get to get out of the house and move around a little bit. It's been crazy weird at work with, like there's very little traffic, there's very, it's, it's interesting. In fact, somebody asked me if I could do like some dash cam footage of the streets and, and businesses and all this stuff being closed. So I think I'm gonna try and do that over the next couple days too. And all that, oh, danger, danger. Yeah, is it cool to let babies play with like little saws? I'm not sure. First kid. No, oh God. Now she's gonna eat screws. Okay, it is time for us to leave up out of here. No, you stay. You's in jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's not happy about that. All right, so what else we got, what do we got? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So talking about driving around with all of the closed businesses and things like that. So I'm gonna try and do that here. Oh, the interview with the psychologist, the, the doctors and everything that do like the psych exam and mental health stuff, all this stuff for the law enforcement and everything, we, it literally got canceled like day of. Uh, we were actually still gonna do the video because it was in a like an area, closed facility, there would only be the three of us, we would have been able to do it, but one of the doctors had actually just come back from overseas travel, so she has to do the 14 day quarantine. They had totally forgot about it, so it got canceled day of. So that is still coming, it's all planned. We just, obviously things are really weird, everything that's going on. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you saw my story over the weekend, when I said about buying a house in the hood and you always have music to listen to. A couple people asked if I'm moving. No, I'm not moving, I did not buy a house in the hood to move into we actually bought uh, an investment property we bought a duplex recently closed on that and so it needs some work it's currently rented but i've been having to do little fix up things here and there to kind of band-aid a few things until i can get in and do bigger work so um i'm getting right in line with fuzz fam who did a flip we got angry cops who has the crack house and uh, you got Demolition Matt, but he has a mansion, so I'm not really sure we're coining in that thing. I think Rich and I are going head to head for uh, houses in the hood. I haven't found any crack in mine yet, well, we'll see. All right, guys, anyway, stay inside. I know it sucks, and here in Florida, it's beautiful. It's in the 80s, I mean, it's like, I'm sure you guys have seen some of the video, hundreds of boats out on the water, because people, like I said, they had nothing to do, man. They're throwing their boats in the water. In fact, the boat ramps have been busier than they normally are like on a holiday in the summer. It's like, uh, it's hard, like I get it, I get why people wanna do it, because they're thinking like, oh, I'm gonna go to the boat ramp, I'm gonna go on my boat, I'm gonna be on the water, and I'll be isolated, I'll be out there, but it's kinda not really what's happening. So we all have a responsibility to stay inside and, and not do this, because I mean, this is how it's gonna spread, and with people doing that, it, you're not gonna be able to stop it. It's just plain and simple, not possible. It's going to get transmitted to other people, so. All right, I hate to end this on a negative note, but I want you know everybody to realize like it, it is serious. We need to take this seriously, or it's, um, it's just gonna get worse. So that's why I'm saying I hope you guys are staying inside. I hope you're safe. I hope you're doing well. I'll try to put together a few little things here and there, even they're just stupid updates like this. I know it's not nearly as exciting, but I've had a decent amount of you guys ask, just like give us anything. So here's your something. I hope you don't hate it. And I'll talk to you guys soon.
Take care.